Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for mid-April 2021. Uh, we are going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and we are going to take a look at uh, your current general energies in this first row. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this is here or why this is here right now. We're going to we're just we're just gonna pretend that you didn't see that Scorpio, right? But uh, then we're gonna take a look at any messages from your future self. Uh, next, we're gonna take a look at any um, blind spots or anything unexpected. You're like the second or third sign. I'm not, uh, you, uh, quite a few signs have had this adventure card in the area of the unexpected uh, this week, or for, I mean for this these mid monthly. So that's pretty interesting. And then in your last row, we're gonna take a look at uh, any messages from your guides. Uh, on top of that, I am going to pull three yes or no question cards. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to pull three yes or no question cards at the end uh, to see what comes up for you. I will be answering those, and I will give you time to think of questions. If you don't have a question, I'm going to answer those all at once. But Scorpio, uh, let's see uh, where we are going for you here, Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio, you start off with this uh, push to the surface card. I'm almost a thousand percent sure that Pisces had this card as well in the same position. Um, so that's interesting. I mean, definitely watch your sun, moon, and rising. If you have Pisces in your chart or something, uh, that might be worth watching as well. But this card says you may have become complacent. You may be stalling or need a new surge of energy. Become aware of your dynamic life. So I feel for some of you, this is saying that your life needs to become more dynamic. Something is definitely stalled out here in this first row, and we're going to talk about that. Um, you know, I think it's going to be something that's pretty much pretty easy to overcome. Like, you will easily be able to, um, you know, figure out how to end this stall. I feel like you will easily be able to figure out how to, um, you know, remove yourself from this very stalled energy. So, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about this. You have the Hermit, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Swords here. For some of you, you've been doing a lot of soul searching, but I am getting like the word aimless on this Hermit card. I mean, Curveball, you've been getting this Hermit in your readings for like, I don't know, weeks now, Scorpio. And for some of you, I do feel like this could be a Virgo that you've been dealing with. You have the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, the Tower here in this first row. It's kind of like this could be um, someone who causes a little bit of chaos in your life within this first row here. So I would be careful of that. I'm getting All American Nightmare is popping into my head. That's a song <laughs> and um, that's popping into my head. So uh, again, you might be dating someone who isn't American, but I just feel that this could have been someone who was a nightmare in the past. I feel like they brought a lot of chaos into your life. Uh, I would just, you know, just something to be, to think about. Um, you know, the main energy that I get in this first row is just like a little bit of a aimless energy, I would call it, where it's like, you're not sure what direction to go and you're not sure what to do with your life or maybe you feel like you've been kind of climbing a mountain but in the dark with the hermit card the hermit he is standing at the top of a mountain but you know he could be he like he kind of climbed that in the dark he had to, to find his inner light here scorpio he had to climb to the top of the mountain first so it, you know there's a lot of darkness and there has been a lot of darkness for him on this journey is kind of like what this card says uh, you have the ten of swords nine of swords i feel like this is saying you're ready you feel ready to give up because you know on the ten of swords there are mountains in the background here scorpio so for some of you i get this feeling of wanting to give up on something in your life for a lot of you it's just discovering yourself uh, in a lot of ways i do feel your guides are kind of lifting you up here it's almost like you are the small whale on top and that big whale is spirit or um, really I feel like it's something that's been inside of you this whole entire time Scorpio so if so, what's lifting you up is yourself your higher self and you need to realize that I feel like this first row is saying uh, don't give up on something that you are trying to accomplish let's dig into this and let's see here, Scorpio, you have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is kind of a difficult energy because Page of Swords asks you to continue to discover. Page of Swords is a card of curiosity. And you have the Six of Cups coming right up next to it. I'd say, what, I don't care what you're working towards here, Scorpio. This to me is saying, number one, don't stop. I feel like I said this in your last reading as well for whatever last week was or whatever it was. But, um, you know, I feel like this is saying don't stop. I also feel like it's asking you to embrace the childlike energy. Every once in a while, I feel that the Six of Cups is talking about childlike mistakes. 
But it's like, if you've ever seen some children, it's like sometimes children, they learn by making mistakes, number one. But number two, sometimes they make a mistake that actually isn't a mistake. Sometimes they do something that's like freaking genius, right? It's like, you know, I think us older people, right? It's like we uh, have lived for too long, so we think things in our lives or in life has to have to work a certain way. And it's like children don't think like that. So this to me is like saying, think like a child, be willing to, you know, experiment, be willing to be wrong, be willing to fail, right? Be willing to whatever, in whatever it is you're trying to get work here, Scorpio, and you'll be successful. You have the Nine of Wands, don't give up. Literally exactly what I said. It's like, I, I see you here on that Ten of Swords thinking that you're never going to get to the top of the mountains. Like I said, the, the mountains are in the back of that Ten of Swords, but I really feel the Ten of Swords was more saying, don't give up. My ear is ringing right now just thinking about this. You have the Lovers here as well. Uh, Scorpio so definitely could be new love so some of you could be uh, you know this could be asking you to not give up on love number one number two this could be a cro you being on a crossroads it's like you have a choice to make here I feel like you I feel like saying that you need to look at something as an upgrade not as a um, not as a choice you know it's like for some of you it's like there's almost this third choice is what's popping into my head like instead of you know giving up on the business you're trying to build there's like a, there's something else that you could be doing but you're gonna have to discover what it is it's gonna be something kind of unique it's gonna be something that is very different um, for others I feel that this could be Again, in love as well. It's like maybe you're trying to work together with a person. There, it's like there are options is what I feel like saying to you here, Scorpio. Um, let's dig into it. In your next row here, you have mute messages from your future self. This says embrace the in-between on this flamingo card here. So for some of you, I feel that you are in this in-between time, obviously. And I do feel this card is asking you to kind of embrace this in-between time. Embrace the um, you know this period of time of not knowing. You'll probably look back out on it as one of the best times ever in like in your life and in this row you have these six of cups three of cups and seven of cups you have a lot more options than you realize especially with something that you're trying to get to work like if you're trying to get a relationship to work you know for some of you you could be with a person here I get this feeling of like being with a person but it's kind of like on the rocks or you know for some of you maybe it's not that extreme maybe you're just drifting apart or whatever that three of cups says with a little bit of work and negotiation you're both going to get what you want I feel like too many people get into relationships and they kind of look at it as like being versus each other right and th and, and that's the message I'm picking up here I feel like there is an opportunity for you to both get you know if you're with a person here for some of you I feel this is a person that you're going to be with in the future for some of you this could be quite shocking actually this could be someone coming back from the past and I feel like they're coming but if, if someone's coming back from the past they're coming back three of cups this person is coming back with, like, I don't, I, I, I think they're coming back with an offer of peace, but it's more than that. It's like they're willing to compromise. That's what I'm looking for. So there's something about compromise, but it's not a compromise. It's like what you are realizing here, Scorpio, <laughs> this, is like, this is the craziest reading I've ever done in a while for you, Scorpio, because uh, the messages that I'm getting don't even make sense with the cards necessarily. I read intuitively and, you know, I don't just regurgitate card meetings, but what I'm getting here in this this row is it's almost like your future self is saying like there is a person coming in for you like who you can work with you can work with this person you can work together you both can get exactly what you want in the relationship you can both live the life you want together it's it's almost like I see these like spaces is the best way I could describe this in my head to you Scorpio where it's like you're going to if you're not already with this person you're going to be with a person where it's like like they have a you know they you have a space where they kind of like fit in this is gonna this is going to a dark place this is about to get inappropriate Scorpio but this is not how I mean it this is what I'm seeing seeing in my head it's like there's a space then a space and then there's like another space another space it's almost like you zipper together let's put it that way right Scorpio with this person where it's like your desires, it's not that they match up. It's just like they overlap or something. I don't know, crazy message, Scorpio. I love it. I feel like this is a good thing because it's like, you know, you compliment them, they compliment you. This looks like a complimentary relationship here, whether it's a new person or an old person, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But uh, I feel like this is something very, very good. I feel that if it's a person from the past, your future self here is saying that embrace the in-between card. It's basically just saying uh, that there was an in-between time here where you both had to kind of figure this out uh, for others to me this is you finding your crew like I feel like you're finding your tribe here and your future self wants you to know that like it, um, I'm, I keep getting business for you Scorpio if you have a business or if you uh, work in social media or something like that this is saying I, I feel you've done a lot of kind of experimenting where you can find that like zippering energy between you and other people and that's the energy I get here I love this reading for you Scorpio this is really really nice 
you have the king of wands here the knight of wands and the queen of cups definitely a very kind caring nurturing energy coming in for you in the love so that's nice could be a fire sign for sure then you know take it how it resonates could be any sign coming in for you this is someone who wants to go on an adventure i feel there are some mysteries here there is a little resistance i'm getting on this knight of wands and, you know you, the person from the past you were dealing with could have been inconsistent they could have been in and out of your life or something like that here scorpio but the energy that I really get here is I feel that this is some of you are saying how how can I do that or something like that is popping into my head you might be dealing with someone at a distance I <laughs> call me crazy but this reading I I did uh, Pisces two days ago so it's it's not really fresh in my mind Scorpio but this is very similar to the Pisces reading I even think I said to Pisces how can I do that or something I was getting these words how can I do that popping into my head so if you're dealing with the Pisces as well I mean or if you if you were you could be dealing with a Virgo as well which is the opposite of Pisces um, and it's like there's distance or there's something that's kind of creating blockages here but I don't know it looks like to me in the area of your blind spots and anything unexpected coming in for you you have the adventure card here which again like three signs have had this card for this month so you could be going on an adventure the Knight of Wands wants to go on an adventure here you go. It's like maybe what is unexpected is that you are going to have the opportunity to go on an adventure with a person here and um, it could lead to love, marriage. Uh, you have the, the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles to me is the path to marriage. It is kind of like the you know, the universe saying like, here is an option for you to be with a person. So there is like an opportunity, I feel, for you to get married to someone here. It doesn't say that you have to do this, but it just says this is an option for you here, uh, Scorpio, and I like this. Um, again, I feel that for some of you, uh, I would be, I am getting just like a little side message here on this Six of Pentacles. He has something in his back pocket right here, if you can see that, that purple little thing. And I always say the Six of Pentacles can represent like someone asking you for something, but it's like they have ulterior motives. So I would just be careful of anyone who's begging for things or i'd be careful of people like even offering you things as well because they might have some sort of expectations tied to it so i'd be careful of that here with the energy but overall i i don't really feel like this is anything i don't think that this row here is a blind spot i feel this is more something unexpected there's going to be an opportunity for you to go on an adventure look very passionate the king of wands and the queen of wands so if you're looking for love this is like a very passionate connection that could be coming in for you here. Something where there's a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of desire with the Queen of Wands. And uh, this is a really good card. Someone who finds you very attractive as well. For others, this you're being presented with an opportunity, I feel, with the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, it's like I'm getting not according to plan. And th those are the words that are popping into my head. So it's almost like there is an opportunity that really isn't or hasn't been or wasn't a part of your plan here, Scorpio. So let's take a look at this. It could, like for some of you, I feel this could be an unexpected job offer, but it's like a, it's gonna be something that you've like never done before. Or it could be like maybe your buddy starts a business and offers you a job or something. So it's like kind of like unexpected, I feel. You know, you have the death card. You coming up in a very strong position. You, know, you always get the tower. Um, you, your, your card is also the tower, Scorpio. So that could just be your energy. It's coming up in the area of advice from your guide. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but you have the death card here, major transformation that you're going through. Devil here, you could be transforming. A situation with a past person here yeah two swords like you're gonna have to make a decision here uh, for a lot of you i feel like you're trying to escape something that has become kind of a burden uh, i'm getting more burdensome energy on the devil here scorpio i'm not so much getting that like toxic you know i think something that is a burden could easily become toxic but i'm getting more of like this burden energy not so much this energy of um you know kind of like something toxic or something that's an addiction. So it's like you're trying to release a burden. You just haven't been sure how to release a burden. For a lot of you, this is specifically talking about a work or a business situation. And I feel that you are going to be releasing something here and moving to something new. This could be quite surprising. Let's look into it. Uh, in the area of advice from your guides, you have the breathe card here. So take a deep breath, I feel. Uh, you have the tower 
the Magician and the Seven of Swords here. I definitely would be careful of someone from the past. I mean, look, you know, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Six of Cups, King of Wands, Knight of Wands right here. The Devil, Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Again, obviously, take the reading how it resonates. You're all different. You're all experiencing different situations in your life. If you were, if someone was a liar, cheater, stealer, obviously, don't take them back. Right, but if they if it was a positive relationship where someone just got scared and ran away, and now they're coming back wanting to work together, then by all means go for it. Right, um, you know, just use common sense is what I would say in this last row. Um, but you have the Tower, the Magician, and the Seven of Swords. This is definitely trickster energy. Your guides are warning you against someone who is a trickster in your life. Remember what I was saying with this Six of Pentacles here? I don't like delivering messages like this. I don't think tarot is meant to, you know, I know it gets a lot of views to be dramatic and all that other stuff, Scorpio, but I don't think tarot is meant to be scary or it's not meant to be like, oh my God, this person's, you know, casting black magic skill, spells on you that are going to give you a diarrhea for the next two weeks or something like that, right? It's like I've heard some ridiculous stuff going on out there. So, you know, I don't think Tarot's meant to do that. But what I would say, keep your wits about you. Your guides are definitely saying that here. I would say that the Six of Pentacles to me would represent like covert contracts, basically um, people who have contracts, you know, people have create these contracts basically with you in their head where they do something with you and th or for you and then they think that you owe them something without ever, um, without ever telling you, <laughs> right? That's what a covert contract is. So I would be careful of that type of energy here, um, you know, with these cards for sure. I do feel like there's some sort of new beginning here, but let's see, um, let's get a little bit more about this warning here. You have the Five of Pentacles here. The Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like your fortunes are changing though. Things will turn around. And the Emperor, definitely stick to a plan. I would say here, Scorpio, I feel that there is some sort of solid plan that you need to stick to. I would be careful of your money over the next couple of weeks. I, I Just intuitively, I don't think this is that big of a deal. I think it's more kind of like saying, just like kind of like watch your finances, keep an eye on your finances here with this energy. I would also be care very, very careful of your words. Five of Pentacles to me says, be careful of the words that you use. This guy right here, he has a bell around his neck and he represents a leper. Back in the days, lepers had to wear bells around their necks so people knew when they were coming down the streets. And the Five of Pentacles basically says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. So use words of empowerment here, Scorpio. Uh, but let's see here, Scorpio, what we have going on for you. Actually, I'm gonna pull one extra row. I wanna get more, like is this, I, I'm, I, <laughs> uh, th this to me is leaving you hanging. So I don't wanna leave you hanging here, Scorpio. I wanna see what is going on with this last row here star star the star comes up after the tower the star represents healing from a tower moment scorpio you have the chariot major victory coming in for you don't be afraid to release something here scorpio two of pentacles some of you could be having a hard time releasing a person from the past here and again if they were toxic i would just let go you will find someone better clearly star chariot major victory coming in for you for others i just feel like it's saying you know be open to the surprise with the tower tower can represent a change in our lives because the tower says we have held on to something too tightly and we need to experience something new, basically. So I feel for some of you, this is just saying, do not be afraid to experience something new. Do not be afraid to try something different with that tower energy. Definitely a lot of healing going on here. And I feel like there's definitely gonna be a victory as well. But uh, that's that Scorpio. Let's um, pull three uh, yes or no question cards. I will also be answering these as just one question. If you don't have three questions or you don't even need to ask a question, I'm just gonna answer them all together. Um, but if you need time to pause, pause the video right now to think of your questions. Uh, for question number one, we have the fool. Yes, I feel like saying it is time. It's leaping, I'm wanting to take a leap of faith, right? Scorpio, so I feel like it's time for you to take a leap of faith right now. I'm actually gonna hold on to that. For question number two, yes, 10 of cups, damn. Scorpio, really good. Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty. So definitely, yes, this is like true love. And for question number three, I would say no. I feel like you're walking away from something here. And um, I love the Seven of Pentacles. Actually, I, to me, Seven of Pentacles is a pretty good card. If if you pay attention to the advice on the Seven of Pentacles, it can be very good. But uh, I just feel intuitively a no on the Seven of Pentacles. I feel some sort of change in direction. For a lot of you, 
This to me is dating. The Fool getting out there, taking leap of faith, Ten of Cups dating, Seven of Pentacles kind of realizing your worth or realizing you know your value in love. So definitely could be discovering true love as well. But uh, I love this reading for you, Scorpio. I feel like there are very positive changes coming in. This is a little scary. I, I really don't feel like it's scary energy though because we clarified it with the Star, the Chariot, Two of Pentacles. I feel like it's just saying, you know, don't hold on to something too tightly. I talked about this in like the Gemini reading a couple weeks ago. It's like the tower sometimes reminds me of like a cute puppy. It's like if you have a cute puppy, it's like you want to squeeze it, but you don't want to squeeze a puppy too tightly, right? So, you know, to me, the tower is saying, and you have the breathe card as well. It's like just saying relax, release any the need for things to go a certain way. And I feel like that will lead to this victory. But this looks really good. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week or this month. Um, and also make sure to watch your sun. Uh, I, I just said that. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. I'm losing my mind today. Uh, thank you, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. And have a good month.